next into the tank is a perfect gift for those who like to linger. Hi, sharks. My name is Katie Steffi, and I... Uh, I'm sorry. My husband was supposed to be here by now. A while ago, he waltzed into the bathroom, phone in hand, and I haven't seen him since. He's what I call a poo procrastinator. In other words, someone who wastes time in the bathroom. Adam, are you still in the bathroom? I'm just doing the paperwork. Almost done. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes? <laughs> well, that would explain why I can't feel my legs. <laughs> hey, sharks. Sorry I'm late. My name is Adam Steffi. And I'm Katie Steffi. And we are from Normal, Illinois. We are seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% equity in our company, Catamco. And now introducing our most successful product line to date, the toilet timer. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh. The toilet timer is the perfect way to tell someone to poop or get off the pot. This is a sand timer with a unique mechanism that I invented. It gives you about five minutes to do your business so you don't miss anything important, like pitching on Shark Tank. Remember, sharks, the toilet timer will take him from infinite scroll to the toilet paper roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a deal and put an end to poo procrastination. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't be serious. <laughs> That's right, I can't be serious. It's very rare. Let me just stand up for all men in America and say that is our only time yes, where we right. get privacy. Yep. Let me just yes. tell you a fact of toiletry. Yes. If your legs don't fall asleep, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's, it can be a product that guys don't want, for sure. but that a woman looks at and says, he needs this. It's just supposed to be a gag gift, though, right? It is it's a just, gag. I mean, it's, yes. it's primarily a gag gift, but there's a practical side to this. And what and would science that be? Behind it what, what's that the practical the, side? That being on the toilet too long can be bad for your gut and your butt health. I think this would be a great time to queue up Dr. Readers. Hi, sharks. As a gastroenterologist, I tell my patients not to stay in the toilet for more than three to five minutes. This will prevent fissures and hemorrhoidal bleeding. The toilet timer is certainly entertaining, but it's a medical fact that lingering in the loo is bad for your health. <laughs> Thank you, sharks, and good luck at it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be pragmatic about it, and I give everybody an equal opportunity. Mm. However, I'm a little skeptical here. Uh -huh. $200,000 for 10 We don't even know what it sells for yet, Kevin. We don't well, know what it costs to make. it because a $2 million what sales valuation are. means there's a lot of poo-poo going on here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're totally gonna get the numbers. There's some great numbers. Get us excited. Christmas 2019, quarter million dollars in sales. $250,000. And what does it cost you to make this? Just under $3 landed. I'm sorry, you, you said sell it for what? $14.99. You gotta be kidding. In December, I know. People are right? crazy. But where did you sell it? It's primarily Amazon. What I wanna tell you about the product is it lends itself to licensing very easily. So if you'd like to remove your black hankies, be our guest. <laughs> oh! Oh. oh. Uh -huh. Kevin. Kevin, how do you like your new look? I know I'm getting a royalty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Kevin, I've seen your face on a potato, so I didn't think this was a big stretch. Yeah, <laughs> listen, I used to poo-poo these kind of tchotchke ideas until I got into potato parcels. Right. Now I'm not laughing anymore because I get a big check every month. Let's stay focused on the numbers because you're asking for $200,000. How much is this going to sell this year in your estimation? Okay. You said quarter of a million last yeah. year. Yeah, uh, it was, it was 294,000 last year altogether. That's huge. Quarter million is December. How do we know it's gonna sell again? Well, how are you promoting it, right? Or are, there, are people just finding it on Amazon? What has happened over the past two Christmases is Amazon's algorithms have picked up that people like this and they buy it. So last Christmas, I didn't spend a dime on advertising. Good for you. I have never, for you. thanks Mark. What are you on track to do this year? If I walk out of here with no deal today, then I'll do a million dollars this year because that's all the product I can afford to buy. You'll do one million dollars in this crap yeah, this yeah. year? Why would it go from 250 one year to a million the next year without publicity? That's such I've a great question. It. Because this year we've already done $318,000 of this skew. 318? Yes. And a quarter million of that 
was this Father's Day. So, so how is this possible? What planet are we on? Yeah, we're on <laughs> right? planet poop, man. If I can walk away with a deal today, I believe that I can do three million in sales this year. I thought you said one million earlier. That's right. My bank is not scaling with me. He can do one million this year with or without us, he said. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then three million if I can get some help getting inventory. As we've looked at the humps that have happened over the past seasons, saying we've got a big Christmas on our way and I want to be ready for it. I have never been ready for a holiday season and I've sold out each season. Because you don't have enough so, inventory. That's the problem. So, you need the 200,000 to build more inventory. Well, no, no, I need 200,000 for some other stuff and then I need some more money for inventory. What other stuff? What other stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'd like to do is with $70,000 of the investment, I can put that towards um, turning our production line in China into a higher volume production facility. But you that, have great margins already. Why would it be a priority for you to even invest that money? That doesn't make sense to my ears. It doesn't seem to me like there would be anything that you should have to pay for or supply to a factory if you don't own the factory mm -hmm. that you would put any money into whatsoever. I've been Factories should improve their systems free and ramp up to accommodate you and make Absolutely. inventory. You see why I'm here? It's to learn yes. from you guys. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's don't fall down learn. that rabbit hole. Do yeah. not give any factory any money. Just okay. give them more purchase orders and tell them that they should figure out how to ramp up yeah. the speed of the making of the product. That's good advice. I think you guys are great. I think a lot of people will buy it. But it's just not the kind of thing where I feel like I could come in and give you anything that's really super beneficial to blow up your business. Um, so for those reasons, I'm out. Adam, I respect sales and you have them. The trouble with this deal though, is you're asking for $200,000, all right? This is a gag company, I get it, but 200 is too much, okay. way too much for this. I'm out. Okay, thanks Kevin. You're thinking this is a business, it ain't, it's a gimmick. Okay, and you can make a certain amount of sales, then it's going to burn out. So for that reason, I'm out. How, how much did you start the company with the, this product with? Well, my whole company was three hundred dollars, and you're going to do a million dollars this year. Yeah, for sure. At least I think that's extremely impressive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But on the other side, I have a personal matter when it comes to this because <laughs> in the I think you're taking away the only time that men have. It's just something I don't resonate with. So I'm out. Thank you, David. Yeah. So it can, it can be a, a threat towards men, but people keep buying these. Mark, do you want to add a toilet timer to your portfolio? I've always <laughs> dreamed of that. <laughs> yeah, what I like about this is there's always going to be Father's Day. There's yeah. always going to be a need for gags, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I like it. Um, obviously, you need money for inventory, so I understand why you're here for that. So I'll make you an offer. Wow. I'll offer you $200,000 that you asked for for 25%. 25% okay. for that. I think we should just do that. Hey, Mark, let's make a deal and let's do it, okay? Good. Let's do it, baby. Right. Yeah. What a surprise ending. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, appreciate it. Thank, thank you guys so all much. so yeah, much. Thank you guys. And thank Good you. Job. What you guys do for American entrepreneurialism, it's beautiful. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you. <laughs> thank Bye. you, Mark. Congrats. Thanks, guys. We didn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Mark was our only offer, and there were some things we could have countered with, but at that point, I didn't think it made sense. We're okay with 25%. We think that we can do great business with this product. First into the tank is a product to comfort and relieve stress. Hey, Sharks. My name is Matt Munt. And I'm Angie Cupper. And we are... Hug, Hug sleep. sleep. <laughs> We're a husband and wife team from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and today we are seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of our company. Sharks, like so many people out there, we've got a real problem in the bedroom. Hmm? Between his sleepwalking and my restless legs, there's a whole lot of action and not enough sleep. So that's why we invented Sleep Pod, a first of its kind sleep solution designed to simulate the feeling of being hugged or cuddled. Sleep Pod uses a specialized four way stretch material that wraps around your entire body. Oh, wow. As this fabric stretches, it wants to compress, providing a gentle, calming pressure, helping you to relax and fall asleep. Now I know what you're thinking, and you're right. It's essentially an adult swaddle. <laughs> but Sleep Pod is so much more than that. It's made from a breathable material that doesn't trap heat. It's lightweight, so it's easy to travel with. And best of all, it's machine washable. And my favorite part is your significant other can't steal your covers. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Sharks, we spend a third of our lives sleeping, yet so many of us struggle to get a good night's rest. With Hug Sleep, we can bring some magic back into the bedroom <laughs> and get people sleeping like babies again. So Sharks, who wants to jump in bed with us? 
So I know 2020 has been a, a little bit of a stressful year to say the least, and it looks like all of you guys could really use a good hug right now. We would ask Robert, and we'd love to have you come up here and uh, test out Sleep Pod. To hug you? No, 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 oh, to try okay. this hug, go, yeah. Sleep Pod. Oh. Unless you really want a hug. All right, go ahead and have a seat on the side of the bed. You're gonna put it on just like you would a pair of pants. So put both legs in. Both? Both legs, yep. And you're gonna stay seated for this, but go okay. ahead and scooch back and swing your legs over onto the bed. Go ahead and get comfortable. You, you may want to go pull back it up on the... to your chest. Yeah. Yeah, I'll you can scoot your butt Just back. Stand up. up, pull it, yeah. Now, Robert, start hopping. So it fits pretty <laughs> snug. That's it. it. Is. We, yes. we don't advise to do yes, that. Yes, because we don't want you to fall. <laughs> oh, it feels great. And now put, yeah. it, put your arms put in. Put my arms it, right? in. So you actually want to lay down before you do that because I would hate to see you fall. I'm an advanced sleeper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So now, yeah, you can lay down. Oh, wow, it's well, really people. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's actually really soothing. Why is there a pocket? Yeah, so we're gonna tell you about that. That's the newest addition. A lot of people like to sleep with one foot out for temperature regulation. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that is a pocket so you can if you want, <laughs> but if you choose not to, <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> You okay, Robert? <laughs> that definitely so, normally yes. doesn't happen. <laughs> See what we have to deal with? Oh my God, uh, I'm bleeding! Hey. Oh, Robert so is bleeding. God, Robert, so you okay? I hate you! Oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're doing oh, everything we advise against. <laughs> yes. So. Okay, um, let's talk about acceptance in the market. <laughs> Are we gonna talk about that? Robert's sitting there bleeding. Are we gonna talk about oh, that? I'm bleeding, Aaron. people! Yeah, get, get a lawyer. <laughs> Before I bled to death, yeah. it was very comfortable. Good, good. good. Yeah. Okay, so guys, sales. So it's been about 16 months or so since we started selling. Lifetime sales to date are about 490,000. So in the last 12 months or so, we've done 335,000 in top line sales. On that, we grossed about 215, and our net on that is about 140. Where were you selling? Yeah, so we sell direct to consumer through our website, as well as Amazon. And what do you sell them for online, and what does it cost you to make landed? It typically sells for 99.99. And each sleep pod costs us on average about $22.50 to make. But as we continue to scale, we can get that down to about 18 So bucks. I just put it on. It's warm. It's very uh, silky soft mm -hmm. feeling. Very yeah. snuggly. Very stretchy. Absolutely. So I think it would be really helpful if we took a step back and kind of explained how this came to be. So a few years ago, I heard about weighted blankets like the rest of the world. I ended up buying one of these weighted blankets, and I tried it on, and I loved it. That initial pressure really brought on this sense of calm. But I went to sleep later that night, and very quickly I ran to the all too common list of complaints associated with weighted blankets. One, they trap heat like crazy and they just overheat. Next, they're very difficult to wash. You can't just take a, a 30 pound weighted blanket and throw it in your washing machine. The washing machine would probably explode, right? I'm a mechanical engineer who's been able to work at some pretty cool companies, so I'm no stranger to creating solutions to problems. Like, okay, maybe you don't use weight to create pressure, but you use compression. And this way, it wraps around your entire body and really, truly simulates a feeling of being hugged. And Angie, what's your background? So I'm a therapist. I have a master's degree in community psychology. I specialize in the treatment of anxiety disorders for kids and adolescents. So I knew more than a lot of people how important sleep is, not just for our physical health, but our mental health too. So when he told me this idea, I was already aware of deep touch pressure therapy, not only for things like autism, which is what it was originally designed for, but for anxiety disorders, for post-traumatic stress disorders. Deep touch pressure therapy is basically gentle but firm pressure applied to the body that triggers that relaxation in the body. Okay, the question is here, how much time and energy do you have to spend explaining the merits of the product to acquire the customer. So our cost of acquisition has been phenomenal. What is it? $11.50 blended. Wow. And that's over the last six months. Uh, and wow. this is scalable. Primarily on Facebook? Uh, yeah, so we're running PPC campaigns on Facebook and Instagram. What My did you time. do last Talk month? To... What did you do last month? Uh, so last month was our, our highest revenue month ever. We did 50,000 last month. And were you profitable? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we... how much did you make in profits? Uh, so our, our net profit is usually about 41% of our top line sales. So it was about 22,000. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank You're you. killing it. And we did bootstrap this company with $2,500. Yeah. That's yeah, baby. That's all you put in. That is all wow. we put yeah. in. And we were now profitable within the first week or two of selling. I hope so everybody at home is hearing that. All right. What are you going to use the 150,000 for? So demand has been crazy. 
um, and we really need inventory. I get it. So um, I like it. I want to offer you 150,000 for 20 percent. Well, thank you for that yes, offer. Thank you. Would you like to say yes? So I don't want to drop valuation that much. You what, can counter. What, what's your counter, Matt? I'm intrigued also because of one Kevin, thing. Kevin, why don't you let him well, answer? He was about to say something. It may well, make maybe, it better for you. Maybe my offer will just make Damon's evaporate. That's why you don't maybe have to worry about it. Maybe we could just time. make you evaporate. <laughs> no, I just look at it and say that you know your customer acquisition cost. Mm -hmm. I would just like to pour more money onto that very model. The value I would add here is to drive that acquisition cost down. I'll do the deal at uh, 15%. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. Are you going to accept it? Wait a minute. I'm going to give you an offer. Whoa. My offer would be 150000 also for the 15%. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I guess there's something I want to make sure I put out there. There are a lot of people suffering from anxiety, sleeplessness. We're not getting a lot of hugs. Um, <laughs> and so this really is something that hugs you back, even if you are alone. Um, I personally really benefit from the sleep pod. <laughs> because one of my, my best memories from childhood was being tucked in um, by my mom every night. <sighs> the reason I went into psychology is I lost my mom to suicide when I was 17. And through all of that pain, I found a passion for helping other people and can help so many people. I love helping kids. I, I'm dedicated to helping kids. But there are adults out there who need help too. And this product can fit so many people and so many needs. And so I, I want to make sure that we make a deal with somebody who's just as passionate about this as we are. You know, I love it, guys. And I've got people in my household and my family that have sensory issues. So that's why it's very close to me. And so I'll make you an offer. I'll give you a choice. I'm gonna give you two offers. One will be just what you asked for, 150,000 for 10%. And the one I'd prefer is $300,000 for 20%. So that way we're closer partners. That I think we could really I'll run I'll give with you this. the same offer and the same choices. Wait a minute, I'll match the same offer. All sharks are still in, and a bidding war is underway for Angie and Matt's therapeutic swaddle for adults, Hug Sleep. So guys, you're gonna get five offers. I don't know how often that happens. Um, Not often, no. And look, there's only one person up here who actually bled for you guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Right? Here's my offer, 300,000 for 20%. That's my offer. Guys, this is extraordinary on Shark Tank. What do you guys want to do? <sighs> I don't even know. <laughs> uh, well, I think we certainly understand the value that all you sharks bring. And, you know, if, if any of you guys would be willing to kind of come together, I think that's Lori. just going to continue to explode this company. All right, Lori and I will do it together. Um, the 300 for 20. Well, I think if you guys are teaming up and kicking us to the curb, Kevin, Damon, will you come in? Because I think three sharks is better than two. Oh, that's interesting. I think so. All right. Oh, I'll, come in with, I'll come in with Kevin and yeah, Robert. Yeah, yeah, three okay sharks versus three two. Three sharks, 300,000 for 20%. Yeah. That's a tough one. Oh, my God. Three's better than two. This is a good problem to have. Very good problem to have. What do you want to do? I know we came in initially targeting Mark and Lori. If you guys want to do a deal at 20% for 300, you got yourself a deal. Done. Done. Thank you. And I can't Thank you. move. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm suing you for making me bleed. I'm not going to sleep at night now. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. <laughs> 2020 has been a scary time, and I, I think sleep pods can help a lot of people. Yeah, the little bit that we can do to just help people to feel safe and secure mm -hmm. and less anxious, and I'm, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That was incredible. Oh, man. Next up is a solution to a problem some well-endowed women face.
Hi Sharks, my name is Erin Robertson. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm seeking $200,000 for 10% equity in my company. I'm in the business of keeping boobs high and dry. <laughs> That's right, boob sweat. I know it doesn't sound very attractive, and trust me, it does not feel very attractive either, but it is something that's very real for so many women. <laughs> One hot summer day, I was getting ready to go on a date, and I could not stop sweating. Fresh out of the shower, I grabbed my t-shirt, and I put it on, I tucked it underneath my girls, but that just made me even hotter. <laughs> the struggle is real, so I came up with a solution of my own. The Tata towel. That's right. <laughs> it's a towel for yo tatas. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Uh, Damon's gonna be shocking. so upset he's not here. Wow. The tata towel is terry cloth on one side and a super soft liner on the other, making it reversible. It's like your girls are on vacation lounging in hammocks somewhere. <laughs> and who doesn't love a good vacation? So Sharks, who wants to join me in the booby business and get your hands on my tata towels? So they walk around outside like that? I came up with it just for getting out of the shower, and I just figured for around the house. However, I have had some amazing customers and women who buy these, and they are wearing them everywhere. So you cinch it tighter from the neck? Yes. And it also tighten it underneath? Absolutely. And how, you can wiggle, move, dance around, and your girls will stay. Can you bend forward? Does, Absolutely. How endowed do the girls have to be? The smallest size <laughs> is a small, or a big C. The biggest size it goes up to is an H. Wow. Let me pass these out first. All right. <laughs> This is for you. Thank you. This, I, I could well, try this, this is, on Kevin's head, though. It's well, about the same. Kevin, this is for you. We, Thank thought, you. we thought you might want to feel how it really feels. Just, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I really oh, don't so need one of these soft. at all. But you know what? They make great gifts. I could see this working. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. It looks really good on you. <laughs> Oh my God. Did you put a patent on these little puppies? Yes, sir. I have a patent and a trademark registered here and in China. Is it a design patent or utility? It is a design patent and for the original, which you have. And then the second towel that you have is my second patent pending for maternity. What does it sell for? The originals sell for 45 and the maternity sell for 50. And what does it cost you to make? $24. How many oh, have that's you high. sold? 12 months, I've sold 1.1 million. Whoa. Wow. You're kidding. It costs you 24. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for saying that. So you're selling them all online, right? I sell them only exclusively from my website. You've got to be just crushing it and rolling in the dough right now. It's been life changing. Right before this happened, I've been a personal assistant for 13 years. Hated my life. <laughs> it was a really difficult job. So I quit and I was making all of these in my living room. I YouTubed how to sew. I couldn't even thread the needle or like get it in there. And I started making them myself. You're amazing. But then, wow. thank you. Um, when I first came up with this, I started handing them out. And then out of nowhere, I don't know who got their hands on these towels, but all of a sudden, whenever I get a sale on my phone, something would just drop down, right? Like ding sale, ding sale. And all of a sudden I just see ding, 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 ding. And I thought my phone was broken. Like Las Vegas. So my neighbor runs out and she's like, have you been online? You are everywhere. Oh, so it just, it went viral on its own. On its own. So, so your Do plan you is manufacture to roll this out here domestically, still? right? I am proud to say I manufacture in Los Angeles. They are handmade by women for women in an eco-friendly uh, manufacturer. Yeah. Do you think you could increase the price because it's domestically made by hand? Yeah, because your margins are low, honestly. What set me back in the beginning is I went viral, right? And I did not know what I was doing. Everyone took advantage of that and jumped on and tried to rip me off and steal. So I had to take a break. Did you enforce I went, your patent? So we enforced my patent. What are you going to sell this year? We're on track to sell $2 million. And what are your sales year to date? 188000 For the year? Wait, 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 wait. OK. And so you're going to go from 180000 the first six months Mm -hmm. to two million for the rest of the year? Absolutely, we have so many people from all over the world. Like I said, I had to close How down. How are you gonna do that? I'm still trying to get my head around going from 108,000, six months to two million. Well, the reason is, is that first of all, the towels really work. Yeah, but that's not the problem. We all assume it works. You have to make it to get the two million in sales and you've only got six months. Yeah, oh, I have uh, inventory on hand. How but much? How much? Inventory I on have 10,000 units on hand. Do you have two million dollars worth of inventory right now? Oh, no, 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 Here's yeah. the problem. A lot of things aren't adding up right now. You had this viral moment that propelled sales in a short period of time to a million dollars. Yes. You come into this year and you don't have the viral moment and you have all the aggravation of shutting down all the knockoffs. 
but 250,000 in inventory equals a half a million dollars in sales. Uh -huh. So you've got to be able to turn your inventory four times, yeah, basically. Well, isn't QVC great? I mean, I'm ready for them. I've got the product. Have you talked to them? No. Wait, I don't think there's any way in the world that you're getting to $2 million in sales unless you have another one of those viral moments. Well, that's why I'm here, honestly, is I'm not afraid to say that, like, I have this inventory. I don't know what to do with it. They are selling. Sales are consistent. But it's not just viral. It's also going global. Like I said, well, Forget about global. Global you make, show it See, and that, the see you're, you're, you're kind of making my case, right? Because to think that the world is your oyster, and if you only sell the entire world, then you're going to get $2 million. It doesn't really work that way. You're just a little bit too scattered for me, so for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, well, thank you. Aaron, the words, I have all this inventory, and I don't know what to do with it. It's pretty Never scary did. to an investor. Yeah. I shouldn't have said, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I know, but you did say it, and what it I doesn't mean... mean that you have to be punished for it. What it means, though, is there's no strategic <laughs> plan. It's not selling, Aaron. However, when I went viral, that inventory I'm sitting on would be completely But you gone. can't predict viral. You're right, so I prepared for it now. So now I have the inventory. You keep saying, I went viral. You're answering future problems with past solutions. I am here because this is how far I've gotten. Your strategy is hope. And, and hope is great, right. but in business, hope is not really a great strategy. I'm out. OK, thank you. Thank Aaron, you. You're a, you're a product person with a great idea, but I'm looking for the person that is going to show me exactly how I'm getting to two million in sales. I really struggle with it because I like it. And you know, I didn't know about large sweat issues. It's okay. and, and now I do, and that's great. And you know, I learned something today, but I What's can't. What's it worth today, Kevin? It's not even worth 200,000. You haven't proven out what you can do here. It's worth 250. She'll sell her inventory. Aaron, I'm really sorry. It's a great product, but I'm out. Okay. Aaron, the part that concerns me is no one wants to buy into a business when the sales are sliding versus going up. Sorry to say I'm out. Okay. Well, there's one shark left. What are you going to do, Lori? Well, Aaron, I will tell you what my thought is. You had me at hello. Oh. I get it. I get this product. Great. But my offer is commensurate to the work that we're gonna have to do, okay? okay? So I wanna be a 50-50 partner. <gasps> ta -ta -ta -ta. I will make you a millionaire, because that's what I do. Um, I mean, I would just love to jump at that because it's amazing and I really do want to work with you. Giving up 50% of my company is just something that I really can't do at this moment. Uh, would you take 15%? Oh! oh my God. 20%? Oh my God. I know. Remember something. Okay. Your business has slowed dramatically. Mm -hmm. You need an army to help you. I've got an army. Is there any scenario where you give her 50%? <sighs> you increase the money, perhaps. Is there any scenario? Um, 50, no, because when I was broke and couldn't pay bills, I took an investor and I gave them 10%. So I own 90%. Listen, I'm going to, uh, best offer, 240%. And my army. Listen, you're going to make so much money, you're not going to mind. Uh, would you do 30? 50% of a watermelon is a whole lot better than 90% of a grape. Like that. Hey, I've got watermelons yeah. in here, by the way. <laughs> Aaron, you way, gotta you're make not a decision. Gonna be sorry. You gotta make a decision. I won't be sorry. Would you be able to go up in the money, then, if I give you that much? Uh, hey. Give her a chance. That's her option. Let her speak. So your final offer is 200,000, 40%, but you will blow this up. Erin, it's not going to make a difference 10% I... either way. Make a decision. But also, Aaron, you have to be happy with it. You're absolutely right. Look, I am so happy for this offer. I need the help. Like you said, I've made a so, lot of mistakes. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to I'm going to take her offer. Yay! Yay! All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank All you right. guys. Yippee, yeah. I yeah. okay. Yeah. appreciate it. So much. Oh. <laughs> what kind of melons are those? They're mid-sized, but they're very comfortable. <laughs> My dad would want me not to cry. <laughs> it's okay, you can cry. Group hug, group hug. Oh, I'm gonna cry too. Congratulations, Erin, congratulations. 
I'm just feeling really grateful. This has been a really hard road, and I really believe in this product, and I know it works so, so well. And um, to be able to get a deal with a shark that I wanted, it's perfect.